Alexa, turn on Samsung TV. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to another tech tip video. If you guys remember a few videos ago, we showed you how to take a smart power strip and set it up with Alexa so you can control your lights or whatever you have plugged into that strip. I'll go ahead and post the link up for the video up there in the top right hand corner on the card there if that is something that you're interested in. But today, I'm going to show you how to set up your Samsung smart TV to be controlled with your Amazon Alexa device. Just a quick disclaimer, before we get started, Samsung did not release the full support for the smart TVs until the 2019 year. So if you do have an older smart TV, you will have limited functionality such as turning it on and off. But if you do have a newer TV, you have the ability to turn it on and off, change the volume, select different apps, and actually have a full control of your TV with the app. You can purchase an Amazon Fire Stick allowing you to get full Alexa support for those older smart TVs. First things first that we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to add the TV to the the Samsung SmartThings app. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the SmartThings. You can typically find it under like a Samsung folder. If you don't have it downloaded, you can visit the Play Store to download it. But if you do have a Samsung device, it is pre-installed. So we're gonna click on SmartThings and it's gonna ask you my home, living room. It may ask you to create an account. If you haven't created an account yet, go through that process. And then once you've signed in, it'll take you to here. So right here, we've already got our living room set and we've got the my home set. So we're gonna go ahead and click on the little plus and we're gonna click on where it says add a device. Next thing we're gonna go to TV and then it says get started with your TV we're gonna click on the blue start and then it's gonna ask you where you want to select the location for your TV you can choose the my home or you can add a new location right there we're gonna go ahead and go down to the bottom right and click on next because the my home is just perfectly fine for this and once you've done that you can go ahead and select a room that this specific is TV in is this is in the living room and uh, again you can go ahead and add new room if you need to click next and then it's gonna ask you to turn on your TV using the remote control and you've got like a little progress bar up here as it detects it you're gonna notice a little percent as it starts to calculate up you've noticed that it's contact to the phone as well it gives you a new icon and then it will say check the pin shown on your tv then enter it below in the top right hand corner i know it's kind of blurred out but it says 6642 and then 6456 and then click done and once the pin has matched it's going to continue the progress bar on the top right here and that'll go all the way right around it says tv is being registered to your samsung account and in the background on the tv right up there again you can see where it says set up via the phone it's complete i know it's blurred out but that's what it says and then it's got an okay and then on the phone here it says successfully connected my home slash living room TV or living room unknown HDMI 2 which is what the input is on the background and we're gonna go ahead and just leave it as Samsung TV it may have your model number there you can name it whatever you want so we're gonna go ahead and click done once we've got the device added to the smart things app we're then gonna go over to the Alexa app and we're going to enable the smart things skill so let's go ahead and do that so again what you're gonna want to do is go to the Amazon Alexa app if you don't have that downloaded feel free to go in and download it either the Google Play Store or the App Store once you've got it downloaded you will need to sign in so if you don't have an Alexa account you will need to sign in and get that all set up and then once you've got it loaded right here we're actually going to click on the three bars at the top left and come on down to skills and games once we've done that it's going to list your skills up here but we're actually going to go over to discover and you can actually click on the little magnifying glass that's going to ask you to search so we're just going to type in smart and you can see right here smart things or smart things samsung you can click on that it's going to be the top option that's got this little logo right over there and then it says smart things go ahead and click on that and then it's going to say enable to use it does require an account linking so this is why i had you create an account on the smart things app because you will need to link it here enable to use enabling skill account linking in progress it'll then take you over to the website where you can link the two select right here and you're going to want to choose my home or whatever your home is it's going to ask you to authorize on that device once you've got it selected click on the green authorize and with the samsung app if you already have the samsung information in there it's going to automatically sync the two because it understand it recognizes the password and username if not it will take you to a prompt where you'll need to sign that in or create the account if you haven't done before but in this case it says smart things has been successfully linked so what you can do is we can go ahead and close this window and we're going to go back to the amazon alexa app and you can see right here smart home devices must be discovered before they can be used with alexa go ahead and click on discover devices so it appears alexa didn't find it but that's okay because typically when you enable a skill and link the two accounts it should automatically bring the devices over so it may have already found it and it was just looking for something new so what we're actually going to do is now we're on the home page of the alexa app we're going to go down to device in the bottom right hand corner and then we're going to click on all devices and search for the name of that device that we added in smart things so if we scroll a little bit further down you can see right here where it says samsung tv so we do have that listed it did bring it over connected
connected via smart things. You can add a description uh, type. You can put in the uh, other, enable or disable it. And then of course you can edit the name because you can add this to different groups depending on how you want to control all of your devices. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back and because I have the uh, actual Echo upstairs in the office, the app does have a way to talk with Alexa which is down right here in the middle. Looks like a little chat bubble. So we're actually gonna go ahead and click on that and give this thing a test. Turn off Samsung TV. And that wraps up today's video, bringing us into our question of the day. What are the TVs have you controlled with the Alexa or Google Home Assistant? Leave your answers in the comments section below the video. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Check out some of the other videos that we have on this channel. We do a lot of stuff from unboxing and news over to how to's and tutorials. I'll link a couple over there on the right hand side of the screen for you. And of course, subscribe if you're not already and enable the bell notification so you guys don't miss out on any type of future content. And we will see you on the next one.